It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's the Flying Camera Route Editor. To begin using the Flying Camera Route Editor, press Control Shift Zero. This is it. Now it doesn't look too complicated at first, but there will be plenty more options as we go along. The first complication in using the FCR editor is the odd way the buttons work. You have to click on the shadow of the button. For some reason, clicking on the button itself doesn't work. This only applies to the bottom four buttons. The others should work fine. Now we can actually start making camera routes. Click on New Route. Now you should see these options pop up. The first thing I suggest doing is pause the game. That tends to make things easier. Position the camera where you want the route to start, and click on the S. Now go and position the camera where you want the route to end. Click on the E. Yes, I know it looks like an F, but it's an E. It only looks like an F because the bottom is cut off. The S button has its bottom cut off, as well as about every other button on the FCR editor. So if it didn't have its bottom cut off, then it would really look like an E instead of an F. So anyway, once you click the E, you will have a functioning camera route. To view your camera route in the preview window, click the play button. You can view different parts of the camera route by clicking and dragging your cursor over the timeline. The red bar at the right lets you control how fast the camera goes along the route. Adjusting this bar only a slight amount will dramatically increase the speed of the camera. To view your camera route in full screen with no graphical user interface, click on Solo Play. Notice that Solo Play does not unpause the game or record, it just plays the route in full screen. After using Solo Play, a check mark above the play button will be filled in. When this box is unchecked, you can move the camera around freely, like this. But if it is checked, the main viewing window will preview the camera route as well as the preview window. So far everything we've covered has been from a first person view. Now let's go to a third person view. Make sure that the check mark above the play button is unchecked so that you can see things from a third person view. These icons are an important factor in understanding the flying camera route editor. Basically, for every one of these on your timeline, you have a camera on your route. The camera that we're viewing right now is represented by the first icon on the timeline, and is therefore the first camera on the camera route. You can have more than just two cameras in a camera route, but we'll get to that later. For now, I'll focus on all the things you can do with a single camera. To control the vertical angle or tilt of the camera, Click and drag the blue axis that's attached to the green line. You can watch the preview window to see how your changes affect the camera route. Now you can click on solo play to view the entire route. Always remember to uncheck this box after using solo play. In addition to the tilt, you can also control the pan of the camera by clicking and dragging the red axis. Once you learn how to make a camera route with two cameras, you will easily be able to make a more complicated route. Simply press S to add a camera to the beginning of the route, and E to add a camera to the end. In most cases, the S button and the E button can get you the kind of camera route you want. However, in certain cases where you already have the starting and ending position of the route, and you want the camera to pass through a point in between those two, you may need to use the insert button. The insert button inserts your current camera position into a designated point in the timeline. Here's how it works. Move the main viewing window to the point through which you want the route to pass. Sometimes I use a trick to get the camera close to the ground. Point the camera straight down, then push W at the same time as pushing against the top of the screen with the cursor. As you can see, this kind of snaps the camera closer to the ground. Although not a very important skill, this technique can come in handy at times. Anyway, back to the insert button. Once you have the camera positioned where you want, 
Click or drag your cursor to a point in between the starting and ending positions on the timeline. Then click Insert. Now click on Solo Play to view your modified route. As you can see, the route now passes through the inserted point. However, it doesn't exactly move in a straight line, and the camera speed varies. To make the camera move at the same speed throughout the route, click on the button that says Recalculate. If you make the same mistake that I did while filming this tutorial, you might click on Solo Play to view the new route. However, doing so reveals to us that something has gone horribly wrong. The route is going really, really slowly, and there's no way to fast forward through it or exit out of the route because there's no graphical user interface. Although, we do see that the camera speed is relatively consistent throughout the route. Wacky stuff like this happens when you're using the recalculate function. I actually don't use it that much, I don't really find a use for it, um, so you use it at your own discretion. At least now we know that the route needs to be faster. Use the red bar at the right to make it faster. Now the speed is much more reasonable, although it still goes in a really wavy line, so we need to fix that. If you haven't noticed already, the purple line shows the path on which the camera travels. Our goal will be to make this line as straight and as smooth as possible. To accomplish this, we'll need to drag around the axes that are attached to the blue lines that are attached to the cameras. These determine the direction that the camera travels. You can see that all the cameras have one. As you continue to edit these blue lines, you may notice that some of them get stuck in the ground. You can try and fix this by adjusting the blue bar on the right to make the cameras bigger, but sometimes this isn't sufficient. You may need to temporarily move the camera so that you can reach the end of the blue line. Then you can adjust the blue line and move the camera back. Be sure to check your route from all angles to make sure that it's really straight. Using solo play, we now see that we finally have a decent camera route. Once you have a route you like, click the record button to automatically start recording your route. Pressing record unpauses the game. Once the route is finished recording, the FCR editor window will pop up just like it does when you hit solo play. Although it won't stop recording, you have to press Ctrl Shift F11 yourself. If you want the game to be paused while you record, press Ctrl Shift F11 and then click on solo play instead of clicking on record.